this is a 2019 Ford Edge and this is the titanium package with all-wheel drive. Today we're here with our friends at Chuck Spade Ford in New Ulm, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two guys, guys in a ride. ride. And today, Nathan, what are we taking a look at? Today we are looking at this beautiful 2019 Ford Edge with a titanium package and all-wheel drive. That's right. But say, before we take a look at it, if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to keep up to date with all the new technology, and you like cool collector cars, take a minute to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification up top so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Oh, well, let's, let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, so this is a detailed video on the Driver's Information Center and then the infotainment screen, and we'll start with the Driver's Information Center. Now, looking at this setup, it looks very similar to uh, to some of the older Fords, and it is. It's the same kind of setup, uh, but they've added some uh, some things to it. So I'm going to use the arrows, keys, and the OK button that are on the left to control this one. You can see up here in the screen, it shows you four arrows, and three of them are lit, and one of them is dimmed out. That means you can press down or up or left and you'll get some more information. You can also press hold OK to, to reset it. So, all right, so here we go. So I'm gonna go up and down. So I've got uh, engine, uh, engine on, normal operation. My average speed, I've got average fuel economy. Uh, and then that's, that's all I have and it scrolls through there. So I'll go to the left and I go up We'll start with display mode. I can it shows a, a left arrow here, it shows a left arrow up in that screen. So I go over here and now I've got those up and down arrows. So it's it's telling you what you can push. So I got my RPM gauge. Uh, over here I just changed from what do I have? Oh, I had just fuel. Now I have fuel and temperature, engine temperature. Change it again. I get my tire pressure and my fuel gauge. I get my digital speedometer. And my intelligent four-wheel drive shows you which wheels are having track or getting traction and then distance to empty and then you're back to your rpm so we'll go down to trip one and two these are very basic this is just trip one and then trip two and it just goes back to trip one okay fuel economy you go over there we we were on that earlier but that's again average speed auto start stop normal uh, engine on normal operation um average fuel economy, average speed, and then we're back here. Okay, go to the driver assist. Now there are quite a few on here, blind spot. And if I wanna take blind spot off, I just click the okay button that's in the center of my left hand steering wheel arrow controls, and it takes it off. I of course wanna leave that on. You got cross traffic con uh, cruise control alert. You've got um, cruise control here. And, when, and he, cruise control doesn't give you a checkbox, it just gives you a right arrow. So if I go to my right arrow, I can have adaptive or normal. So for some reason you don't like the adaptive, you can just press the OK button there and it will be normal cruise control. I, of course, am gonna leave it on adaptive, okay? And then we'll go back here. You have driver alerts, uh, lane keeping system. Again, no check mark, you have to use the right arrow. And then you can set the mode to alert only, aid only, or both and you can do the alert intensity. Okay, and, and again, by selecting it, you're just pressing that okay button in the center of the four arrows on the left and it will change for you. Okay, uh, you've got pre-collision. So you're gonna set the alert sensitivity. You can turn on and off evasive braking, on or off active braking. You got your rear park aid and trailer sway and then we're back to blind spot so lots of safety systems on here and then down here is the settings where you can control things like auto engine on off distance to empty calculation because you can change it from normal to towing so you have a better idea of your miles per gallon when you're towing something your easy entry exit lighting 
auto high beam, auto lamp delay, daytime lights, okay? Your locks, auto unlock, uh, mislock, remote unlock, switch uh, uh, inhibit, and so just lots and lots of little settings. We'll go back here and we are at, then we go in here, we got uh, oil life reset, you can do your power lift gate, uh, remote start, Okay, so I'm, on, I'm just following these arrows. So when it tells me that I can click right, I just click right. Climate control, auto or last setting. Um, seats and wheel, auto or off. Um, duration, 15 minutes. And this is, this, all, this is just all has to do with remote start. So, I mean, you can have a lot of things set when you remote start your vehicle, which is really nice in the winter around here or in the summer if it's hot. You can change them. Okay, you got your windows. You can remote open them with your remote control or not. Wipers, courtesy wipe, or when you turn your headlights on, or just rain sensing. Okay, uh, so just tons and tons of little features. Uh, um, under my key, you you can create a, 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 a key, take one of your key files and create them for like a, a teenage driver and have limitations like all the safety si systems have to be turned on, um, that kind of stuff. Okay, and then of course you have the display setup, and here's where you can select, you know, if you want, uh, say, uh, metric or SAE. Uh, your your temperature can be displayed differently. Your gauge display, um, like you want just a fuel gauge, you want fuel and tack. Um, so you see the little change there. Tire pressure here, you can have it in different readings, uh, language, uh, and then back to units again. So just a whole plethora of things you can have. All right, so let's move over to the right. Okay, so on the right hand 4.2 inch screen, you've got, first of all, the uh, outdoor temperature display. You've got the clock. Uh, it's currently on navigation, so it tells you what screen it's on. And then you have that same cursor show up here with the four arrows telling you which arrow you can push to, to get to the next window or information. So I'm gonna press the left arrow because that one's highlighted. And here you've got phone, navigation, and entertainment. Okay, so if I go to entertainment, I have my radio station show up. Okay, I can then go to my right arrow because that shows up on the dashboard here. I can use that. And now I've got different things that I can connect to. Okay, I'm gonna use the uh, right arrow again and I can change a few features here, like I can switch between FM1 and FM2, a Sirius 1, Sirius 2, Sirius 3, and so forth. Okay, I am gonna scroll downwards, and I am actually changing the, uh, the stations, the presets. Okay, I'm gonna do the left arrow for a minute, go down to navigation, press the right arrow. Okay, now there is no uh, course plotted, but if it did, your turn-by-turn -turn directions would show up in here. Otherwise, the compass shows up by default. So I'm gonna press the left arrow again. I'm gonna go down to phone, press the right arrow. And this is where, you know, if you get an incoming call, you'll get a button up here to click OK on to accept the call, uh, to hang up the call, that kind of stuff. Okay? So that is the right screen. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the infotainment screen. All right, so on the infotainment screen, it's all touchscreen. The only exception is the media, the two media buttons where you can change stations over on this right side of the steering wheel, and I showed you those um, in the overall review. So uh, you've got your home button here. You've got the uh, temperature for the driver here. You've got the temperature for the passenger here. Oops. And then you've got your 911 assist here. And then you have got uh, your connectivity features for uh, the built-in hotspot and Wi-Fi. Okay, so down here you've got your all your buttons that you need. You got audio, so you can go to sources here and switch if you want to do it this way instead of through the steering wheel controls. All right? And um, these are all your presets right here. And then uh, you can direct tune here. You can do a channel guide right there. Okay, let's let's go to uh, climate for a minute. 
climate. Here's you have all physical controls for this, but you can do it on the screen if you want. So you can adjust your temperature settings here. Um, you can adjust your fan speed. You can turn it to auto if you want. I'll turn that off. Oops. Um, you know, you can see them. They're all right here. They're walls, your power button. One thing I'll, I'll mention is that in order to sync the temperatures together, because you have separate temperature controls um, down here that you'll probably use more often, but if you want to sync them so they're the same, you are going to have to go up here under climate and then press this button, which says dual, and then it puts them together. All right, here's your phone stuff. So you want to get into your phone, that's all going to be right here. Here's your navigation. I, I, it's a very nice screen. Um, you got you can put in your destination here. You can click on menu here. And you can go to different things like where am I or the traffic list, um, which is it's very helpful when you're driving. You do have an app button here where you can find other mobile apps that you can use on here. Or you can do the Sirius XM travel link, which is really cool. Again, here you get travel list. That was earlier. We saw that in the navigation as a separate button. Movie listing, sport info, your subscription info, fuel prices, weather, and ski conditions. Now, you get six months with a new car. Uh, six months free subscription. And then after that, you would have to pay for it. Okay, and then the last one is settings. Under here, you can go to general. And then you can change the uh, units and that kind of stuff. The touchscreen beep, about sync, that kind of basic information. 911 assist, the car can call 911 in the event that you're in an accident. You need to set that up. You can set up automatic updates if you want. Uh, under vehicle, you get a couple of things. You get your door keypad code. That's where you would reset your keypad unless you want to use, you can, you can actually do it from the pillar as well, but that's another spot you can do it. Um, you do have your camera settings. You have two, two things. You can turn off the enhanced park aid or you can turn it on. And you can also make your rear camera uh, delay a little bit. When you put it in drive, it'll stay on for just a little bit until you're about five miles an hour, then it will shut off. Okay, and let's go back one more. Okay, under display here, you have a few things. You can turn the display off, which is really nice, since especially at night. Uh, everything keeps working, it's just the screen is off. Um, you can change the background. Uh, you can affect the brightness. Um, you can, uh, on the on the mode here, you can put your screen into an auto, day, or night mode. Auto mode will just basically dim your screen when your lights come on, um, sensing that it's darker, and then during the day it'll turn it back to be brighter. All right. So, we'll go back one more here. You do have uh, voice control settings here. Um, I won't turn those on, but you can uh, play with those. That's where you would do that. Um, you do have a valet mode, which limits, you know, certain thing features on the car, uh, which is nice. Um, oh, can't do that right now. I don't want to set that. But uh, basically, it'll limit things like stereo volume and things like that that you wouldn't want somebody playing with on your car. Ambient lighting. This vehicle does come with ambient lighting. And then, of course, you have all these colors. And then uh, whatever's currently on will show up. Hey, all you got to do is tap on the next one. And then if it's too bright for you, you can dim it. Okay, so I, I really like that feature. All right, and that, we'll go back to audio there, but that is the infotainment system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget if you want to uh, see the whole review of this vehicle, to click on the link above, and then you'll take you to the full review exterior and interior of this vehicle. Thanks for watching.